What's going on everybody? I played a preview of Season 4. Here's everything you need to know about it. We'll start off with the weapons first. The M26 Matter Shotgun under Light Class operates a lot differently from its double barrel counterpart, the SH-1900. It has good damage while having a faster fire rate to it, and the range is better as well. I ended up taking my time and landing my shots at the shotgun, just like the other shotguns in the game, as well as centering them. But I needed to have a faster pace to it compared to the double barrel shotgun. The Pike 5.56 DMR in the medium class is by far the most satisfying weapon to use out of the three weapons. It has a strong kick to its recoil, but the scope and damage per bullet is great. Gotten some good lasers with the weapon. The 50 Akimbo Deagles on the heavy class is undoubtedly strong. For dual pistols, it has excellent range while still being strong in close quarters. There were a few times where me and my teammates had fucked this weapon is bullshit moments, especially here. Also, to add on to that, it has really good hip fire. So I would say all three weapons, unlike how Season 2 and Season 3's weapons flopped, are overall solid. It's a step in the right direction and I commend Embark for that. As for the sights, I tested out the red dot sights on the AKM and M11. It provided a much cleaner view with less visual recoil. It's a solid addition overall. League Rewards Rank Cash is back and they have made drastic changes to the game mode that we haven't fully recognized yet, given that they've taken the whole season off of Rank Cash Out. These are the rank rewards of Season 4. Sponsor rewards are a nice touch, being able to choose from different sponsors and earning followers and rewards from it. You'll be able to compete against other sponsors in the process. The Battle Pass without a hint of exaggeration is the best Battle Pass I've seen so far. Themes of baseball, the Wild West, and WWE slash wrestling are some of the, my personal favorites. One thing I would definitely consider a con is the new map, Fortune Stadium. It shares too many similarities to Seoul, and the core of the final is to be a unique shooter, as the developers say, including its maps. On an overall scale, a solid step in the right direction for the finals. My fellow cons and creators are stoked as well. I await to see the future of the finals. If you enjoyed this short and sweet review of the preview, like and subscribe to this channel. I got more finals cons coming for sure and I'm not gonna stop.